Mighty. My name is IT. And, and you're watching All Key Shop TV. TV. So today, guys, we have a special loop for you for the All Key Shop PZ game deals. And there is a special code hidden somewhere in the studio where you can actually find a code and use to complete an entry and answer a special question on our Gleam giveaway. That is right. And this awesome giveaway, guys, gives you the chance to win 20 coins every day. Isn't it amazing? Well, simply type in exclamation mark deal in the chat for you to access our giveaway page and complete all entries. So, guys, good luck. And uh, today's headlines would be the Destiny 2 Forsaken Raid will come after the expansion's launch and Black Ops 4 with Shadow War DLC announced. For Honor's team player count peaks after free offer announcement. Rainbow Six Siege Maverick gets nerfed before launch. Epic offers exclusive emote for two-factor authentication. Clone Troopers added to, sto uh, to Star Wars Belfont 2. Hollow Knight's final expansion launches and now let's move on to the first update because the next major expansion for Destiny 2 called Forsaken is launching very soon, which will be on September 4th. Well, for players excited for the raid though, you would have to wait for about a week and a half of it. And the very first Destiny 2 Forsaken raid called Last Wish will be arriving on September 14th at 7 p.m. CEST. And of course, the reason for the wait, as explained by senior designer Joe Blackburn, is that players would have to prepare for it with much power to gain in the force other things to do before taking the plunge. So I guess this Destiny 2 Forsaken is actually worth the wait. Don't you think so, Mighty? Yes, I see. Alright guys, so now let's talk about Call of Duty World War II's fourth DLC pack called The Shadow War has been announced by Activision via a trailer. Well, this will include World War II's Nazi Zombie storyline and will come with three multiplayer maps which are Airship, Chancellery, and Excavation. The new operation, Arcane, will also be the final piece of content for the DLC. Well, Shadow of War will first come to PlayStation 4 players on August 28th and would later be released for PC and Xbox One, but a specific date has not been revealed yet. So, for those um, PlayStation 4 players out there, I hope you guys did mark your calendars because you will be the first one to be able to play this Call of Duty World War II's fourth DLC pack. That would be on August 28th. Yes. There you have it. So let's now head into um, with four honors of free weekend offer. Well, the game's player count of team has peaked at 116,000 and 499. This has been all the time peak for the game since its launch in February 2017. Well, the four honors starter edition is available for free until August 27th only. And this comes with the three original heroes, which are customizable. And one of the three original factions can also be chosen. So the other heroes are also playable but only in the practice mode and can only be unlocked with the in-game currency. Well, right. And wow, free weekend offer, guys, for for honor. I know you guys are really excited for the free weekend offer. And now guys, let's talk about Rainbow Six Siege because after a few weeks the Operation Grim Sky launches, Ubisoft has announced that they will be implementing balancing patches to some of the operators. Well, the one getting most changes is one of the two new operators, Maverick. Players feedback from the Operation Grim Sky test server say that Maverick is too effective. So he will get nerfed and his smoke grenade will be replaced with a stun grenade while his blowtorch's volume will be made louder so he can easily be spotted when he is cutting.
And now, next update with, uh, with, uh, will always be about the Epic Games once you get real secure with your account. So, we are encouraging employers to activate two-factor authorization as another security measure. Yes, guys, and players who opt in the feature will get an exclusive Fortnite emote, the Boogie Down. Well, in case you didn't know, two-factor authorization is an added security feature where a personal account or device gets verified either by sending a text to a number associated with the account or an authentication link via yeah. email. And there you have it guys, now let's talk about clone troopers added to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And it can be getting a new update which will be launching on August 29th. Well the update is called the Elite Corps update which will be adding new clone trooper appearances to the game plus a new map as well as some multiplayer improvements. Players would be able to customize the Republic Army with the skins of the 41st Elite Corps as well as the 327th Star Corps. That is right. So the skin guys or the skins will be available for Assault, Heavy and Specialist classes of the Galactic Republic for 20,000 credits or 500, 500 crystals. Yes, I know Star Wars fans will be very happy for this. And it will be launching, guys, on August 29th, so mark your colors. That would be next week. Yes, next week. Oh my god. And so that's for Star Wars. Now let's head into Team Cherry Games has released Hello Knight, the Free God Master expansion. Dubbed as the biggest expansion for the game so far, and Gadmaster brings more characters, secrets, quests, and an incredible battle to take your place once and for all amongst the gods of Hallownest. Well, it is currently available for PC and the Switch, and is the fourth and final expansion for the game. Oh, Hollow Knight will be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sometime in 2019. That's right. Hollow Knights, who are the fans of Hollow Knight out there? Guys, that would be on 2019. So, or sometime in 2019. Alright guys, now let's talk about the next update which is about the newest expansion pack for World of Warcraft was recently released and was able to set a series-wide record for a day one sales. Well, the expansion is Battle for Azeroth which was able to reach 3.4 million in sales on August 14. This so far is the highest day one sale for the expansion for the game according to Activision and Blizzard. Well guys, Battle for Azeroth is the seventh expansion available for World of Warcraft. And the second expansion for the most day one sales in Legion which is released or was released on 2016. That is right. And that's for World of Warcraft, guys. And let's head into it. Twitter has uh, partnered with the Overwatch League and will be bringing near real time highlights from the league starting with the upcoming All Star Weekend. Twitter will be bringing these highlights from the new season's matches, including the regular matches, playoffs, and the finals. Well, guys, Twitter will also be streaming a weekly live preview called Watchpoint. Starting 2019, Overwatch League partnered with Disney early this year, which brought the season's matches plus all of the 2019 season to ESPN, ESPN2, Destiny, Disney2, or Destiny XD, and ABC.
And now guys, let's talk about PUBG because fans rejoice as one of the most popular event modes for the game is making a comeback this weekend. Well, Desert Nights will be available to play starting today at 3 a.m. BRC and it will end on Monday. August 27th at the same time. This is the 50 player war mode variant that takes place in Miramar. Well here guys the drop will be 10, 5 player squads with level 3 gear and, and random crate weapons will also be available. Well the first squad to reach 200 points or the highest points in the 15 minute round is of course the winner. So there we have it guys, PUBG update, Desert Knight. So that's for PUBG. Now let's have um, more details on Team Sonic Racing have emerged during this year's Gamescom. First of all, the game gets a new track called Market Street and it's based on a rooftop run from Sonic Unleashed. Well, a new character was also revealed and it is the mysterious Tanuki named Dudun Dudunpa. <laughs> yes, and Sonic and his team will face Dudunpa in a map-based race campaign similar to the original Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Well, Team Sonic Racing launches this December on PS4, PC, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. And that Dudunpa release is quite an amazing name. Right. <laughs> yes, very unique. <laughs> Alright guys, now let us tell you about the all key shop deal of the day, which is the Lethal League. Well, our price comparison shows it's currently available at 1 euro and 69 cents. While well, with Steam, you can actually get it at 11 euros and 99 cents. Use our price comparison tool and get this game today at 85% off, guys. So to buy this game now and for more of our featured deals for today, simply type in the exclamation mark deal in the stream chat for you to get the link and for you to be rerouted to this game's price comparison page. Again, guys, it's 85% off in savings. So, what are you waiting for? Come and grab the offer while it's still available. Yes.